Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at Adobe Photoshop CC for 2015, and a feature that will definitely help those of you who have been struggling with typography inside Photoshop. And I think you'll like it. Let's take a look. Uh, for years and years and years with InDesign and then Illustrator, I've been able to use a panel that I wished were, was in Photoshop, and now it is. This panel is the Glyphs panel. You can get to the Glyphs panel, of course, from the window menu where you'll find all panels. And the Glyphs panel is a, is a tremendous help for laying out text and typography for uh, your Photoshop documents now. It opens up the power of open type fonts, especially. So for example, I've got this queen text here and it's in Lust uh, Didone or D-I-D-O-N-E font. Um, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Didone. Um, and I could be wrong. <laughs> well, let's go in and let's take a look at what we have available for this particular font. I'm going to go ahead and highlight just the letter Q. And one of my favorite abilities in the glyphs panel, instead of looking at the entire font and all of the different um, glyphs and characters, I can say, just show me the alternates for this particular selection. And it will show me in this font the other cues that exist that I would never know were there. So this allows you to design with the same fonts you've been using and get characters that most people don't even know they have. So let's go ahead and just simply double click and that will give me the special cue um, that again, just type in a cue would never give me. So let's, for example, same thing with the N, I can get that special little uh, accent mark on the end. Doesn't look good there, but if it were the first word, um, for example, if it were the first character, of a word I should say then that might make sense to go ahead and apply that so as you can see Queen No Flora has special characters and special glyphs that this end looks different than that end that most people would never know how you would do it or how you would get it so the glyphs panel is great for not only looking at alternates for a specific character but just looking for characters or glyphs in a particular font that you didn't know were there or how to get to or how to access. For example, all the currency symbols for this particular font, um, all the symbols in general for this particular font, and again, it is font by font. All the math symbols for this particular font, these are all built in. So if I need a particular math symbol, I just double click and I've got that math symbol. The glyphs panel is awesome and I'm so happy to see it here in Photoshop CC for 2015. Check it out. You'll love it. Type will never be the same in Photoshop. And enjoy. We'll catch you on the next one.